I had a request from somebody to do a challenge with a two or three day growth of beard, which I just happen to have right now, and a Waishi or a Wishi razor. Uh, I used to say Waishi till I was corrected, and uh, I've been told I think the proper pronunciation is Wishi, like my father used to say. I'll say it my way, and you say it your way. So, which however you want to say it is good, but it's W E I S H I. It comes in a nice. Uh, carton like so and it also has a plastic container within the carton and you just open it up and included in the box is a little brush and a few blades these are Dorco blades but I'm not going to use those blades today I'll use the blade I normally use and this happens to be a gold colored razor uh, it's probably some kind of a gold finish it's not solid brass that's for sure and uh, the way it opens and closes is just spin the dial on the bottom, right here. And it opens and closes in one, two, three, about three turns. So that's nice and easy. Uh, let's just do a little size comparison. Uh, here's the, the Waishi or the Wishi next to the Mercur HD. You can see the difference in the size. And then here it is next to a Mercur Future. And then lastly, here it is with a Mercure Vision, which the Vision's about the largest razor you're going to get your hands on, and very high-tech looking. So anyway, we're going to perform the shave, a three-pass shave today with this Wishi. And we'll just load it up with a nice new blade, drop it in there. And these are very simplistic to load. Just drop it in and tighten it down, and you're ready to go. It's a new razor. It still has the tag on it. I haven't used it before, so we'll see how this works out. And... Uh, you always want to make sure that when the blade loads, it, it looks like it's evenly loaded on both sides so it doesn't protrude more on one side than it does on the other. Because if that's the case, you'll get a, a, more of a cut on one side, a more of an aggressive shave on one side and less of an aggressive shave on the other. So you actually want to make sure that it loads equally in there. So it looks fine to me. I think it's right in the middle. And uh, let's give it a go. I've already mixed up my lather and prepped my face, so I'll just splash a little water on and I've already uh, mixed up my lather, as you can see here, got a nice thick lather, so I'll start applying and get to work with this. And when you apply your cream, just want to make sure that you cover all your skin and you don't see any patches of skin showing through. Just get a nice even coat of cream. Like so. And paint it just to remove any clumps. Okay, we'll set that down and I'll clear off the sideburns just so I can see where I'm at. And let's get to work with this this Waishi or Wishi, however you want to call it. Okay, so I dip it in the water just to warm it up a little bit and uh, let's see how she works out. We'll start up by the sideburn here. So anyway, uh, Greeter Boy mentioned that it was too mild of a shaver for, uh, some people have said that it's too mild of a shaver to tackle a two or three day growth. And honestly, I can tell that, you know, I've, I've used other razors that seem to be a bit more aggressive, but I have a pretty heavy beard and I do have a two or three day growth, so... I'm not expecting it to cut through everything in one pass. We'll give it a nice three passes and see how it works out. The first pass I'll just do uh, with the grain, which is north to south. Like 
so. And then the second pass I'll go across the grain. Just FYI, I do have a, uh, a sharp blade in here. It's a new blade, I just took it out of the package. And yeah, I don't, I don't want to say anything bad, but I could just tell that it's, it's not shaving off as, as, well as, some of the, as well as some of the other razors that I use. Okay, so that completes the first pass. We'll do a rinse. And let's apply again for the second pass. And I know the, the Weishi razors are more reasonably priced than most others. And it does feel lighter in the hand to me. It's not as heavy as a Mercour or Edwin Jagger or one of the other razors. And okay, that's good for the uh, second pass. All the skin's covered. Let's set the brush down. And we'll grab the Weishi again. This time I'll go across the grain from the ear towards the nose, like so. Okay, now the backhand grip coming across the other way. And I can tell that uh, it's not taking the, even the shaving cream off thoroughly on each pass like sometimes the other razors uh, do. I have to hit the area a couple of times to cover it. You can see how the cream stays behind. It's not getting removed uh, very easily. Okay, now I'll go uh, against the grain on my neck. Okay, set it down and slight rinse for the third pass. And we'll apply for the third and final coat. Alrighty, now let's go with the third pass. I'll start at the nose and go across. Like so. Just on the upper lip area. Okay, and I'll go against the grain on my neck. And then I'll go against the grain on my cheeks also because I feel like I need to Get, get closer with this razor. Okay.
Okay, even with the third pass going upwards, I definitely still feel some stubble there. And around my chin also. So I would, which I wouldn't have to do with other razors, uh, say even this, one of my favorite razors is Edwin Jagger. You can see the difference in size compared to the Weishi. It's a little bit longer and it's got a beautiful chrome finish on it. Uh, I get a nice close shave with that doing three passes and now what I have to do is uh, just apply a little more and do some touching up. So you can just go back in there and hit it in different directions like a little buffing motion like this and just kind of clean it up a little better because it needs a little extra help. Just like that. Especially around the cleft area. Just kind of almost a fourth pass if you will. Just to improve on that on that shave. Okay, there you go. Now I'll rinse off for a final rinse. And let's see. This is where I do a spot check with my hands, with my fingers, and I feel around. And really, not bad. I just had to go after it a little bit more, the fourth pass, if you will, and just, uh, you know, hit it from different directions, which, uh, you know, if your razor is not super aggressive, which this, I wouldn't call this the most aggressive razor. I have a Mercur Slant Bar, which is uh, way more aggressive, where the blade loads uh, kind of skewed or on an angle, and it really cuts through the whiskers without a problem. Uh, this is a different situation. It's, uh, it's a good razor. Let's say if you're a beginner, you want to try it out and uh, just get into this form of shaving, you can give it a go with this. Uh, like I said, I have a heavier beard, so it takes me a good three to four passes in different directions to... Uh, to clean up with this and uh, I hope that helps you you know you can uh, think about it and decide if you're happy with this type of razor or not or if you want to try something else so uh, if you have any questions ask away I'll be happy to answer whatever I can have a great shave have a great day we'll see you next time take care